But first tonight, there's a carjacking crisis. The city of Philadelphia is taking a new approach as it deals with a dramatic rise in these violent robberies. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. The city is experiencing a record number of carjackings this year. Take a look at this. Going back to 2019, pre pandemic, there were 224 carjackings reported in Philadelphia. Since that time, those numbers have exploded. So far this year, there are more than 1,300 carjackings. And that is why the city is now creating a new investigative unit to crack down on this violent crime. Carrie Corrado takes a closer look at the plan of action. This is a special unit within the district attorney's office. They say it's all thanks to a $1.5 million budget increase from Philadelphia City Council. It's a statistic that's headed in the wrong direction. Carjackings rising at an alarming rate. Philadelphia police reported a 54% increase from last year. In 2022 alone, there were more than 1,300 of them. But there is a, a specific violent component and a, a selfishness that comes with a carjacking, and it, it truly puts everybody's sense of security and safety uh, in danger, if not eradicating it completely. The DA's office created a task force that will tackle carjacking-related prosecutions. The goal is to restore a sense of safety in the city. This will be a targeted, coordinated deep dive into a systematic problem that's occurring in Philadelphia that's plaguing our city. Assistant District Attorney Helen Park will lead the unit and will work directly with the city's gun violence task force and the homicide and non-fatal shooting unit. We are seeing more and more and more that when there is a fatal shooting or a non-fatal shooting, it is done in a car that does not belong to the people who are doing the shooting. It's part of how they hide their identities. And while this is not going to be an easy task, it is our hope that we will be able to catch organizations, groups of people, people who work together. Yes. Half the unit will handle adult cases. The other half will handle juvenile cases, but both are united with one goal to stop carjackings in the city. Outside of police headquarters, Kerry Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.